Hi everyone, Patrick Callen here and uh, today we are going to talk about some scenarios where um, commuting your pension or option 8 may make sense for you um, and the reason we do this is to help clarify why this is important to explore all of your options okay um, and as we said before a lot of people do not explore this option because it is just not um, talked about enough so with that being said we kind of split it into two categories um, one being pre-retirement and one being uh, post-retirement or leading right up to retirement where some of these situations can come into play so the first one that we've seen from our clients um, in general is in pre-retirement and it refers to a situation where your career can be in transition okay so uh, what does that mean it means that your career is going through a change or the company you're going you work with is going through a change either downsizing layoffs or you're simply just not happy with where you're at but you are in that limbo period where you're not ready to retire um, you're earlier in your career there's just too many factors to make it work so these people are usually under 50 years old okay so essentially what happens is this where your career transitions you either change jobs change companies and by extension change pension plans <clears throat> so what happens then at this point you have built up a pension with this company worth X amount okay at this point you have to decide what to do with it because when you transition or you change companies or leave the pension plan the money has to come with you now the path of least resistance is going from pension plan to pension plan so if you're fortunate enough where the new company you land at or the new career you land at has a very similar pension structure you can go simply from pension to pension okay so then from there it will carry on very similarly to the way it does now now the other option or the other scenario that is much more common is where we do not have this um, this perk we cannot go pension to pension so essentially what this means is you now have to commute or take control of your pension okay the important thing to know is this just because you now assume control of your pension does not mean you have to start taking income from it it simply means that you are now in charge of its management okay and when this comes out it comes out in two forms there is a portion that goes into what's called a lira or a locked in retirement account and a cash portion which is um, essentially taxable but it is not in a registered account like a lira okay you now have to take over the management of this and um, you can open these these types of structures at any financial institution in Canada essentially but this is where we usually come in to, um, to help these types of clients is to make sure that this amount of money is still invested appropriately until retirement date does come okay so that is a very very common scenario okay the second scenario is essentially um, where we have a bit of a mismatch between the 85 index and your retirement plan okay and this is pre-retirement so when it comes to your 85 index we, we covered this earlier but this means that you have maximized your your pension income because 
your years of service and age at retirement reach 85. Okay? If it doesn't, you now have a penalty to deal with by taking your pension early. So what this means is this, if you are between 50 and 55 and say already on your second career or um, second pension plan, let's say, and your age and years of service are nowhere near intersecting, but you're, you want to retire between the ages of 50 and 55. With this pension plan, you can sometimes have a reduction of up to 20% pension income because you want to retire early. And usually this is the maximum amount they will reduce it. If you remember earlier, we talked about the teacher who had a reduced pension of 5% because they wanted to retire 2.5 years before this index. Okay. But sometimes it makes sense to commute in this scenario because when we work through the exercise of showing you what your pension value can do for you income wise, we can usually beat that criteria by commuting. So we take the overall value of your pension and we used the unreduced income versus the reduced income. And a lot of times we can usually achieve it if, if they're within line, okay? So this is sometimes how we bypass the income reduction, okay? That is another scenario that comes up quite, it's, it's pretty common, okay? So with that in mind, those are some pre-retirement scenarios where this may make sense. Now, flipping into retirement or very close to retirement, we can focus on a couple different scenarios, okay? One of the most important scenarios or um, common scenarios where this is applicable, unfortunately, has to do with health, okay? Now, life happens and we have had clients come in where they either have health issues, have past health issues, or they simply have values where their estate is very meaningful to them. So what this essentially means is that if you have a reduced life expectancy, okay, it is now very important to these clients that they maximize their estate or legacy or that their wealth passes on, okay? So essentially what happens is, is these people commute their pension so that it guarantees as much of their wealth as possible transfers to their estate and their beneficiaries, okay? Now this is, um, outside of planning for a spouse as well, okay? This is part of the, the situation where we put it all together, okay? But when you commute your pension and you secure the income <clears throat> so that it, it never runs out, we now have a large sum of money that will transfer to a state. And this is especially important to people if they have a reduced life expectancy, okay? Another situation is, um, simply for retirement synchronization between spouses, okay? So if there is an age difference or a career difference between two spouses, this scenario or this strategy can help with this situation. So a common example is one spouse is ready to retire and the other one is not. They have to work another you know, three to five years to make the math work. But when we take people through this exercise, 
and we do our, our income assessment on the pension value, a lot of times we can make it work now, income-wise, with the commuted value versus the reduction due to earlier retirement so that these two spouses can retire early or at least at the same time, okay? That is another situation. And then the third one is just simply for financial reasons. Okay, sometimes it just simply makes more sense to commute a pension and make that value last.